Alrighty then, folks. Welcome back to Giren's Great Earth Federation Forces. So, as many of you may know, but people in the future won't know, I uh, I just finished up the Zeon campaign last week, and I want to start this. Uh, I want to start the Zeta stuff and the Delos Fleet stuff at about the same time, so that Zeon doesn't finish like three months earlier than the Federation does. So I'm going to be trying to finish it tonight. We're pretty far up in the campaign right now. All we have to do is take these five production points and we'll be good. And no real big major events happen after this point. So, well, except for a bunch of people die and then Slager dies and Solomon, but we all know that's going to happen. So nothing really intense. I'm just going to say yes to everything for the rest of the game. So nothing really intense happens after this, so it should be going pretty quick. I don't imagine we're going to get it done this week, but I'm going to try to do it. So, I'm, there's going to be about five episodes this week, so if you have any advice or anything, it won't be addressed till next week, which be like five episodes from now. So, first things first, using my magical, smart future seeing powers and, you know, reviewing it while I was editing it, we're about to get attacked at Jabro. Uh, basically, Char attacked Jabro last turn, or at the beginning of this turn, I can't remember which one it was, and we need to deal with it. I kind of ignored it, but it's a big deal. So we're moving the people from North America, which is mostly some GMs and some Gundams, over to here. Though, now that I actually have the time, we're going to start loading some people up. I'm going to move you there. You're going to go in the tank, the one with all the tanks. You're going to go with the tanks, which I'm aware that's a white base. Um, you're going to go in there, actually. Same thing with you guys. The Medeas travel fa uh, farther in one turn. So we're loading the tanks up into the white base, which is a bit slower. So the tank, uh, the white base will be fire support, while the GMs just kind of walk around. Um, yeah, and we have one empty, or one GM that doesn't have a home. But we'll just have to accept that. Two GMs that don't have a home. And we can upgrade our Gundams into Pixies. That's not a good idea. Though, thinking about it, we have a pixie here. So, normally they would attack here and we'd only have these 18 units. But since we're sending in these, we'll have like 45 and it'll be okay. So I'm not really worried about it, but we're going to cheat a little bit since I know it's coming. Ooh, we can upgrade that though. And that's the space only one, so we'll upgrade that into the ground one. Um, that's also the ground one, so it's not a big deal. So yeah, that's dealt with. Now up in space, we want to finish this up quickly, so we have like 23 units here. We're going to go have them attack Space 5, I believe it is, the space province right next to them, so that we don't have to keep defending this point of the atmosphere, we'll have this point, so we could easily go grab side 1 or side 4 if we need to. Um, with these guys, normally I was going to have them sent here this turn, but instead we're going to attack here and basically cut off their supply from Abo Q. And here, because after we take these, they'll have to go all the way around, so it'll be a lot easier to reinforce them. And since next turn we're going to be attacking Luna 2, they'll be completely cut off to here after we grab these two. So that's our goal for now. Well, they also have this route down here, but we'll cut that off eventually. So we're having them all attack here, except for this hover truck, which we're going to get rid of, because I don't know why we have a hover truck. We have a hover truck. So we're getting rid of that. Um, these guys are moving to here, and then to here, and then from there we'll have them just move down capture this, and then after we capture this, we'll have them go down, go over here, go into side 5, have side 5 attack out, grab side 7, so that after this group attacks Solomon, we'll have them attack side 5, or Abo Ku next turn, and then after that we'll have them meet up in side 1, and then we'll go and grab Granada. And hopefully by then we'll have all the rest of this cleared out. But Luna 2 is our next target, which Luna 2 we should outnumber like 5 to 1. Plus, we'll have a shit ton of ships. Yes, that was hard to say. We'll have a shit ton of ships. Because we have a bunch of them that we aren't using. And if we need to, we'll start loading them up. But we might get rid of them and start building some white bases. Because I believe we get the next model of white base, which is the Grey Phantom next level. Next tech level, anyway. So we might just be making more white bases, because we can. It'll make the next part of the game easier, because we'll upgrade them all into Argamas. Well, when we get to Argamas, because we're going to start the Delaws fleet stuff first. Yeah. We really should attack right here, but if we do, we're going to get attacked by, like, quite a few people. Hmm. 
Do I want to get rid of like six guys and have them go attack up here and cut off side four? Okay, yeah, we're going to do that. We're just going to have them grab side four, which means this whole episode will probably be a turn, but still. It'll be pretty long, but we'll get a lot done. In the next episode, we'll just start grabbing places like crazy. Because we'll be ready to... After we grab Luna 2, we can just, like, immediately beam over to uh, Solomon. And then after Solomon, we should just be, like, on a crusade and take everyone else out. It'll work. And we still haven't done Star 1 yet, so they don't know we're going to attack Solomon. Because the AI is stupid like that. But I believe a lot of the uh, Solomon events start kicking off when we do that, like... Uh, destroying the Big Zom, the uh, Lala, basically. The Texas Colony stuff. Okay, so the reason why I upgraded this ball is not because it can do anything, because it actually can't, but because we'll be, like, right here, so we can do this. So we scanned all of them. They have some Zaku Js, uh, a Zaku J and two Cannon Zakus, a full uh, Goff C, which is the Armored Goff, which, yeah, I don't like them. They can't melee. And then the Goff B. And what looks like a Dom underneath. And a, another Goff C. Yeah, and they have two Doms here. So they have three Doms, three Gauffs, uh, th four Zakus, and two Zaku Cannons. So we're going to kind of cheat this a little bit. Um, We're going to move all our flying units to the big tray right here. Or, not all our flying units. We're going to move our flying units out, move all our Gundams to the big tray. Then we have two GMs here. And then we have a GM here. Or actually, a waterproof Gundam. No, is that a... No, that's a GM. What do we have in there is the question. We have... A... One of those, which is a sniper. A combat sniper, weirdly enough. Um... They have, they have like, a beam trident, so you can do a lot of damage. But it is a waterproof Gundam. Wow. Okay. A Magellan tank and a sniper. We're actually going to move the waterproof Gundam in, because Gundam. We should have probably given them ace pilots, but oh well. I didn't think of that. And we're going to move these guys forward to attack them. Then we have everyone over here in white bases slash Medeas. And since we control the area, we can move pretty far. So it'll take two or three turns to meet up with our guys, but when they do, it'll be a good reinforcement. And since I've thought about it, and by thought about it, I mean this last second, we're going to get rid of these two tanks, because we're going to dismantle them anyway, load them up into this white base, and send the white base forward. Basically, after this, we're going to get rid of everything that can't go into space, or can't go both on space and on the ground, because we're not going to need them after this. Oh, and Zai, uh, so let's call it Geon again. Um, Geon, uh, damn. Okay, Xeon can't attack these guys because they're underwater and they don't have any flying units. So I'm just sitting here scanning them because I can. So, oh, they have three Goths. Three Zaku, four Zakus, yeah. Okay, so almost what I thought it was. They didn't have a spare Dom there, they had a spare Goth, uh, spare Goth there. So we're just going to send these guys forward again. And then we'll have them meet up and then we'll start moving forward again. Um... Well, why I'm staying here mostly is because they'll attack us in ones and twos, or small groups, so it'll be easier for us to take people out, and since there's a river, this is the only way over the river, and we're kind of bottlenecking them on the other side. Though we should probably move back a step so we can deploy units, because they won't be able to get to here this turn, they'll probably only be able to get to like there at best, so we'll deploy units on the other side of the river, but then we'll have somebody in right here so we can stop them from getting over to us. And we'll move these guys up so they can attack the enemy as well, since they both have a two-attack range. Do any of these guys have a two-attack range? Only the G-Fighter does. Which, oh yeah, G-Fighters do work in space, don't they? I had totally forgot those things work in space. But we are getting rid of that core booster, because it's just a core booster. I'm not the AI, I don't see a point in using a core booster. Thinking about it. Can we still have the sub? We can actually have the sub attack. Eh, why not? Just to be an asshole for some reason. Okay, so our Medeas will be moving up. So we should be able to deploy stuff next turn. Okay, and we're going to get rid of... We're going to eject our Gundams to here. And we're going to start spreading particles. 
because particles supposedly affect conventional weapons as well. I don't think they do, but I'll try anyway. It, can, it can't hurt us. Because as long as I do it correctly, we'll only get provinces we control, or spots we're sitting in, so they can't touch us. Because, yeah, it's like, they get 10% here, and that's all. Oh, and, you know, thinking about it, we can just move the big tray right there, so we'll be able to get all our groups. Oh, and white base, totally forgot about you. Oh, yeah, our sub attacking them. This isn't going to do any real damage. Or any damage at all. I just did that to do that. If we need to, we'll sit on the escape point. I think that'll repair some of our energy. Since we technically control it. And we should actually take out these doms. Because we have three Gundams. Eh, we got close. Oh, and we actually did it. Okay, so we'll just reorganize that one, put that Gundam in the back. Or if we'll have to, we'll send it back to like a Medea or something. Um, GMs. Gundams. GMs. GMs. Okay, so... We're actually going to move these guys over since they can't reach. Um, how about these? We can move them over, so we'll move them over. Um, Gundams, of course, we'll be able to move there, so we'll have them. We want the waterproof in front, too, so the waterproof has the best melee. But we're having them attack there. These Gundams will have attack this Gauf, or not, because... Did I put them... Yeah, I put them in the river. Whoops. Or, can you deploy? You cannot. We're actually going to move you to here. This one... These, so one of these two will go and attack. We'll try attacking this Medea, but that's fine. We can accept that. Um, yeah, they can't attack anyone any either, but we'll have them help out next turn. So we're going to spread particles here. You guys, you can't hit anybody, but I needed that spot for the Medea to move here, spread particles. Move there, spread particles. Um, okay, so we're going to just have... Nobody attack that, and we'll have these guys attack that. We're going to move forward with the big tray, have the big tray. First spread particles, because it'll help out later, and then move there. We'll have, well, these guys deploy is the real question. Not anywhere useful, so we'll have this white base also move forward and spread particles. At that, the white base really had no point, but the other ones were useful. Wow, and we took those guys out with purely range support. That's awesome. We probably won't be finishing this battle this turn, but we should get pretty close. And since one Zaku survived, we can only melee that first group. The first group. We can only melee that first river, you know, that first... Um, this group. Uh, one of those Gundams is going to get destroyed. Definitely. Probably the waterproof. And it survived. I'm really surprised. Yeah, it actually did survive, too. I didn't know those things could melee. But damn, do they do a lot of damage. Holy shit. We should destroy that first group in ranged. Or most of that first group. Yeah, okay. So we destroyed... We almost destroyed that first group. But we took out that second one, so it's all good. Okay, so we need to reorganize to put them in there, there, there. And we're going to have them move out of the way, actually. So we can deploy these guys... Right here, we'll have them attack there. We'll have both groups of Gundams go out and attack this Gauf in the back. Oh, uh, we need to... We're going to send the Gundam back, because it's about to get destroyed. And then with these two, 
we'll just send them to here, also have them attack. Um, these guys here will move up, attack this one. We will have these GMs here move right up next to these Zaku cannons. We'll have... Whoops. These guys here eject out. Uh, they can't get far enough to hit anyone, so that's not going to happen. We'll have them go to here, give port fire against that one. Um, got you there. The big tray will go there. And these guys will go attack hmm, this one. Killing those three is more important than destroying these two Zaku Seas. Because we'll probably destroy those Zaku Seas in range combat anyway. Or melee combat anyway. And then we'll just have these fighters go attack them because I don't think Zaku cannons have a flying defense. Like, I don't think they can counterattack flying units. I could be wrong, I just have never seen the AI do it. And they, oh, I was about to say, they let the, they counterattacked the wrong one, but it was because they didn't attack us back. And we just kind of got to choose our target, or choose our unit to attack the target. Reference wouldn't really make sense. God, why didn't they attack us back? Okay, so we didn't destroy one Dom, but we did a lot of damage to them. So they they only have like four guys left. Though I think this is the fifth turn, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll finish this up next time, but we're okay. Yeah, see, they don't attack you back. I don't know if it's just the AI or they can't attack you. I don't use Zaku cannons enough to test. Um, nah, not gonna do it. Yeah, they did like nothing, and attacking them would have just let them do more damage to us. And that's a normal Medea. Should really upgrade that. Yeah, I figured as much. So yeah, next turn we'll wipe them out. We have them on the ropes right now. Okay, so they have... Oh, okay, I was about to say we might have to run away, but... That's a Zaku and a Jiko. You gonna check over there real quick? It's a Zaku and a Jiko. Zaku and a Gattle Fighter. Three Jikos. A Gattle Fighter... Something in a Jiko, I can't tell what's in between that, and that's three or that's two Jikos and Gattle Fighter. We are good. Like this battle's gonna take a while, but we're gonna win. Like they have nothing against us. Well, unless those Jikos deploy shields and they attack us in a really strange way, we should be able to kill them all. Even if it's only in melee. Oh, and we have Gundam, so yeah, um, we won. Though, thinking about that, I'm going to switch them back to beam rifles right now, because we might send it where we might just send out the Gundams alone to take out a group of units while we have the snipers provide support fire against another group, or, you know, just fire on another group. So this one should take two or three turns, but we'll win it hands down. Yeah, so Jikos, Jikos, or Jiko. Two Jikos, a Gattle Fighter and two Jikos, and then two Jikos. That's a Gattle Fighter and a Zaku, and a Jiko and a Gattle Fighter. So they have like nine support craft and two actual mobile suits. So let us see. Three snipers can deploy all the way to there. So you guys are going to take out two of the Jikos. Gundam can't reach. Gattlefy, or... Oh, actually, we can do that. We just gotta be funny about it. Plus, thinking about it, if the Jikos use one of their beam things, 
we could still use the bazooka, we just couldn't use the beam rifle, so having them equipped with the beam rifle probably isn't the best idea. Hmm. Now, there's no there's no point of even deploying ish or spreading particles, it'll just make it harder for us to hit them. And, like, any damage they could negate would be, like... I think Jikos do 36 per attack. Which, I guess in a large number that's bad, but... Like, they don't have that many troops either, so... Can't really do anything, so... Spreading particles would just make it harder for us to hit them. Making it harder for us in the long run. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, the white dingo stuff. Woo. They actually, in Gundam Online, they actually did a white dingo thing recently. Yeah, the event that's going on right now, if you get 25 tickets, you can get a white dingo uh, Gundam sniper. Not Gundam sniper, a uh, GM sniper. Which, I'm Zeon, so I already have, like, a full gold Johnny Ridden custom Zaku. Which is awesome, because I like it. The only problem is you can't equip a Storm and a Grenade. Yeah, you can't equip a Grenade and a Stormfrost at the same time, so... I'm basically stuck with a machine gun, uh... A machine gun, a Heat Hawk, and a Bazooka. The only downside to it. It has a rocket shooter, though. So I fire really fast. Actually, why not move him there? Gundam, scan! Okay, so... I don't know why I did that when I have a white base right next to it. I do weird things, I guess. Yes, let us move there, there, and there. You guys will take on that. White to Besu. Scanneroo. Um... That one. Because we'll... Or actually... We'll have the white base attack the weaker unit, so hopefully it can destroy it. We should destroy these guys. We'll definitely destroy the Zaku, and then we'll just have th those three left. It's going a lot quicker than I thought it was, too. Woo, head Vulcans for the win. Though the snipers ran out of energy. But I know how we're going to do that. We'll have everyone move back into the white base for us to move towards the center. Man, sweet, we did destroy them. And we should definitely wipe these guys out. And one survived. Damn it. Come on, run away, run away, run away. Oh, one of them is running away. The other one's attacking. Oh, they took out a GM again. Those guys will be our support fire, and we'll just have the Gundam attack them directly. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that. That's fine. Uh, 22 against 6 now. This one should be easy. What do they have? Okay, we have a bunch of snipers and some Zakus, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And they have... These are Zaku R2s. Those aren't an issue. We'll just get them out of range. And those are three Bigros. That is an issue. Damn. Um, alright then. So, what we have to do is we have to keep them out of range, and then we'll have one of the Zakus, like a single unit, run up and attack them. We'll destroy them through support fire, while our Zakus take a lot of damage. But they are just Zakus, and even though it's kind of funny to have them now, if we would have brought them into the next era, they'll get swatted down like flies. Just like, watch any of the Dula's fleet, and you'll notice that. Like, it happened a lot. It was really bad. But I got over it eventually. So, actually, we want the one in the back to grab it, so the one in the back can move the farthest up. And we'll build a wall using that. We want the Zakus up in the front. 
We'll get these guys here. Okay, what I'm trying to make it happen is I want them to either attack the Zaku or one of the groups in the front, and then we'll break off and take out two of the big rows on one turn. Then the next turn we'll kill the other one and start heading for the middle. We won't win this battle in one turn because we're too far away, but we should be able to destroy them easy. We'll lose a couple of Zakus, but that should be all. Oh, and they're all attacking the Zaku. That works. Oh, no, they're attacking other people. Well then. And we lost a GM Sniper, that's fine. We lose a bit more than a GM Sniper in this one. We lost two GM Snipers. But again, that's fine, we'll just keep those guys in the back. So, we want this one with the saber fishes mostly to go scan, then attack. Um, Oliver May is piloting a Beagro. That does mean they have a big rend. Why they aren't using big rends, I don't know. Though big rends are kind of weak if you if you look at it, the Beagro is kind of more cost efficient and will take less damage. So, I guess they are doing something smart. First, we're going to reorganize them, though. We're going to have everyone attack that one. We'll have these guys reorganize also. Put that Zaku in front for reasons. Then we'll have... No, that... They would melee at that range, so we'll have them attack there. We'll have these guys attack this one. These guys attack this one, and the single GM Sniper will go attack this one. So we should kill both of these this turn, and the next turn we'll have to take out this one. But I'm assuming this one's going to attack the Zaku, since it's right next to it. Or they might go around and attack someone in the back. I'm just hoping they don't attack... Uh, actually, I'm hoping they don't attack this one. That would suck. And we'll take out the Beagro, and then after that other Beagro, we'll go towards the center. Okay, and we lost, like, four saber fishes. Five saber fishes. Yeah. He didn't have any experience, though, so there's a reason why that worked. And we killed that without even going into the range phase. No. Oh. I'm dead. Hmm. I don't actually know what he said. He said like Itananga. And I don't know what that means. Oh, and he's attacking the ones who are just fine off. Okay. So it didn't even kill anyone. That's cool. So where's that? There's our Zakus. Our Zakus will move to here and attack. Uh, we'll send those guys towards the center. Actually, they'll fire on them as well. Just because they can. We need at least three units to attack, but besides that, we can just save our energy. We're going to send... Or actually, we'll send this one guy to also fire on them. Just for the fun of it. It'll do a little bit extra damage, so it'll work. And we'll send these guys towards the center. Next turn, we'll capture that. The turn after, we should get close enough to fire on them. They'll send a Zaku or two out to attack us, but that'll just make it easier capturing their base. Oh, I could have reorganized the, Zok uh, the Zakus. That would have been good, but oh well. Yep, sent a Zaku or two at us. A uh, single Zaku. Oh, and they're attacking the saber fishes. And these GM, the GMs ran out of energy. Oh no, they might kill some saber fish. No, we lost our saber fish. What are we to do? We might have to like fight them or something. Okay, so do you guys have enough energy? You do. You're gonna fire there. This one here is gonna retreat back to this base. Join up with this unit. 
the Zakus will move forward, capture this base. I should add one of the snipers to it since the snipers needed energy, but oh well. You know what, just to make sure they're dead. We're going to do so much damage to Gato that he's going to die horribly. That is Gato, though. But we do 60. 60 times 3, so 180. Plus, you know, 18. Well, it's 1 to 1, so never mind. We can't do that one. So 180 times 3, that's 540. So 1,080 versus 265. Yeah, they just don't have very much energy left. They'll probably send another one at us, but we'll destroy them and then we'll next turn after we'll go and kill them. But that's turn five, so this is about to end. Oh, in Izaku versus Izaku. Zaku are ones, I think. Yeah. They look like Zaku are ones. And 54 against 13. So they have three Zakus. 13 Zakus. <laughs> I don't know the maker of the model. Well, these are at least the one on the top's an R1 or R2. I don't know about the other ones. And I think the one on the top of there is an R2 there as well, but the gray is kind of merging, so I can't really tell you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send a shit ton of units at them all at once. Basically, one unit of GMs can take out a unit of Zakus, especially if they're not Zaku R2s. But we'll send like two or three at each of them just to make sure they're dead. And we'll finish this battle up in a turn. Depending on if they all attack us or they go and try to run away. If they try to run away, it won't happen, but if they go up to attack us, it should totally work. So, these guys here. Sniper and a B. Okay, this is Zaku R2 with that guy in it. Karitsu? Karitsu? Or Karutsu? Something like that? I don't know, he's that guy. He worked with Gato. Um, you know what? We're gonna do something kind of strange. We're not gonna deploy our troops this turn, so we'd be able to attack them next turn. Or actually, let's deploy some more units and then we'll just send some white bases up. We're not going to have them attack, though, because that's just a waste of energy. We don't want that. So, we'll have these guys deploy. Or, whoops, can we switch your equipment gun? Oh, that's a gun cannon. I thought that was a gun dump. So, we'll have them fire also. Um, have these guys go over here. You is such a conversationalist. He has such a way with words. Okay, yeah, so we're going we're just gonna send these guys straight down. They are going to get attacked, but we're accepting that, because why not? They won't get to, uh, they won't die from one attack from a set of Zaku's. And next turn, we'll be able to deploy units, take these out, and then the turn after, these guys will be close enough for us to fight. And if we have to, we'll just have them keep going down. He knows what. Yeah, 
You he knows what Jabra wants, so we should totally listen to him. Oh, I should have put the Gundam in front. Whoops. Oh well, it's a Zaku R2. Even if it has an ace pilot. Hmm. I don't know if he's one of the ones that's going to survive Stardust Memory, but... If he does survive, he's going to defect to the Titans. They all do. Everyone but Ko. Oh, and that's Johnny Ridden. Wow. I wasn't expecting him. That's the full bullet, Zaku. And our white bases are getting attacked. Though I don't think they named it at this point in the game or in the story yet. I don't think uh, Bandai had named it. I think that would have happened like two or three years later. And there's a black tri-star. Wow, and some Zaku F2s. That's Johnny Ridden, black tri-star, and a Zaku F2. I wonder who's piloting that one, because you know they're dead. <laughs> They are actually dead, too, because this is after Odessa. I'm putting my money on M.A.S.H. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's M.A.S.H. Uh, I'll have one of the white bases scout to see. Um, whoops. Johnny Ridden? Yeah. Ah. And this is just an empty F2. Oh, actually, it has a ace pilot. Never mind. And then a Zaku C. That's going to be the real challenge. Those things are dangerous. Whoops. Okay, so we want you to go kill this undefended Zaku. We actually want you to move and then fire on the stack. We want you to scan, fail at it. We want you to scan, also fail at it. We're going to have your snipers move out, move to here, fire on this guy. I'm going to deploy the Gundam and that stuff, though we're going to change the Gundam's equipment. Oh. We can't, never mind. At least, if there is, I'm not seeing it for some reason. Okay, so we're going to have you also fire on there. You're going to deploy more than a single unit of Z or a single GM. You're going to fire. You're going to move back over to here. You're then also going to fire on these guys. You who has snipers is going to deploy them here to go help out against these guys. You're also going to scan because you can. You're going to fail at scanning and this Gundam is going to scan. This is a radar Zaku and a Zaku C. Very dangerous stuff. If we have to encounter them, they're going to kill us all horribly and then we're going to cry. We're moving these guys forward just to go and attack the people in the center next turn. Because these guys are going to move up and probably attack these snipers, but we can accept that. Um, okay. I'll have everyone attack this one because we can. And then we'll have these guys scan as well, fail at that, fire at... Johnny Ridden in them because I'm actually scared of them, but I forgot to have everyone and their grandmother attack them. I just told this white base to shoot at a single GM or Saku. Oh, and that's the max the people attacking Johnny Ridden can go. So, never mind that. And then they'll randomly shoot at this here Zaku. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's two units of radar Zakus and a Zaku C. I'm glad we took out such a dangerous threat. You know, those radar Zakus, you don't know what they can do. They could, like, give us cancer. I don't know. Actually, I think... 
I think Radar Zakus would be using a combination of thermal and light if the books are anything to go on. So I don't think they could actually give us cancer. But hey, we killed Johnny Ridden and a black tri a zombie black tristar in one turn. Oh, he'll be a part of Axis too, don't worry. We'll fight him eventually. I do love when you're fighting Axis though and like Dozel or Garma attacks you. Because they're still alive, technically. No, wait, in this one we did kill Garma. So we'll be fighting Gar uh, Zombie Garma later. We're definitely gonna have to let. Well. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to let. Uh, Slugger die, because if we don't, we're gonna have to fight Big Zom, and I don't have any way really good to fight Big Zom. Unless letting Amuro destroy him. So. You snipers are gonna go here, shoot at this guy. You guys are gonna deploy, attack this guy. These guys are gonna deploy. This one's here, are gonna shoot at the Zaku in the back. I'm imagining these are either Zaku C's, F's, or radar Zaku's. You know what? Just because we can. Zaku R2, or Zaku S. Okay. With Garcia piloting it. He's one of the, what, the Cyclops people. Zaku F and a Zaku F. So yeah, they're just some Zaku Fs. That's nothing to worry about. Scan. Fire on this one. So yeah, both of these should die fairly easily. F2 with Trop in it. That guy. Yeah, I forgot we had already looked at that one. Um. Yeah. And we'll just shoot at that guy for no reason. Hell, we'll have everyone shoot at that guy for no reason. We might destroy him, and that's the extent of it. And burning. Oh, burning's probably actually going to survive in this game because I'm going to get Sima to defect to us. And that somehow saves burning's life. Plus, if Sima defects to us, she just stays with us the entire time. And if we steal Zaku, uh, Gelgug Marines, or a Gion Marine, depending on which one they chose, we could totally get, like, our own SEMA custom. Though we'll probably just give her a GPO-4. So I believe we'll have enough good points by then to actually get the GPO-4. We need overhunt... 750. You start with 500, and every turn you get 10 more, so after turn 45 or 25, you should have enough to get the GPO 4. Oh, and we almost lost a GM there. Yeah, it had 40 HP left. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we should clear this one out easy. きっと僕の活躍で基地の仲間も大喜びですよ。敵部隊の殲滅に成功しました。我が軍の勝利です。Okay. 
And this last battle. So they have some Zakus with two Saikami Zakus underneath. A Zincrello. And a Gattle Fighter. This battle won't be as easy, but it should be pretty easy. Especially since we have a bunch of GMs. And a bunch of GM snipers. We have like 23s of them. Oh, and everyone's attacking us on the first turn. That I was not expecting, though I should have, probably. This might be bad. We're not going to attack back. Never mind. They couldn't do enough damage to kill us. So, we want you to scan. You're going to fail at it, but still. An empty Zincrello, that's good. Some Zaku R1As. Um, some snipers to go take out this guy. Some snipers to go take out... Or to go fire on this Zincrello. I just got... If I don't rush... Or I don't need to rush, so if I don't rush, this battle should be okay. And then we'll have these guys take out this Zincrello here. We'll deploy three here to go shoot at this guy. And then we'll deploy three here to go shoot at this guy. We will move you back. We should have probably moved him on a base, but thinking about it, we don't have a base, so it's fine. Scan. Anyone in this R2? And, yeah, it's Andy, right? It's either Andy or Artie, because those are both written in Japanese as the same thing. I'm going to assume it's Andy, though. Okay, so we should destroy these three, or four, and then they'll just have, like, these nine left, which we'll, f we'll deal with the rest next turn. That's some Zaku F2s. Yeah, we almost, we almost dealt with them. There's, like, one left, like, half HP. Wow. We did so little damage to them, we didn't kill that single unit in front. And we missed in all the melee rolls. Damn. Destroy the Zincrella, though. That one was the only real danger they had. God, we just can't destroy shit with this army. Fleet. Yeah, the white bases are under attack. That's fine. Um, we'll have the psych we'll attack the Psycho Muzaku, so I'm pretty sure there's no one piloting it. And the white bases just won't attack back. Psycho Muzakus have no melee. We're going to leave these guys here, so any damage the ships do take, as long as they don't get destroyed, they'll heal eventually. And these look like Zaku Fs. Or they might be R1s, thinking about it. Because Fs and R1s look exactly the same, except for the legs. So they are Zaku R1A, yeah. And a Zaku R1A. Okay. So, you Shaz take out that one. You shall take out this one. Oh, Jolly is actually in it. And he's a new type in this one. I didn't know that. So you're going to retreat back to go heal a little bit. Can you catch him? You cannot. Can you catch him? You cannot. So we just got to let that one get away. So we should take out these two, hopefully. We will hopefully again destroy that one. We should damage those guys quite a bit. 
And then they only have these two, this R2 and this R1 with like no HP left. Hmm. Ah, oh, we can't. I was gonna say, we'll move a white base in to attack it. It'll totally work. Oh, we can actually. Okay, we might actually destroy these guys. But it let us scan this one, which is some F2s and a C. Okay. Yeah. We didn't destroy them all, but we did a lot of damage. Go on, at least destroy one of them. Or fail completely, if that's cool too. Thanks for giving up your Zaku. He was in a new type mobile suit, but it had no bits. So we're good. And this is a set of GMs against some Zakus. I'd be very mad if nine GMs can't take out three Zakus. Mind you, I've seen that happen before, or haven't happened before, so shouldn't really be mad. But hey, our snipers killed them. Woo. Expect everyone to go attack that white base. Yeah. Cool, thank you. You just sacrificed your mobile suit. Can't do anything about that one. Those are just Saku Seas, though. We'll move them back into a white base after this. These guys will kill next turn. And we got to fight some Gattle Fighters. That'll be tough. It'll probably be the hardest battle yet. Oh, and Andy's running away. And that guy's gonna get away as well, but we can't do much about that. Um, we'll leave those guys in there. You guys have some energy. You'll do that. You move into here. This will move down. You snipers will move into here as well, and you'll move down. And you'll scan. So, this is just an empty Gattle Fighter. We should destroy all three of these guys. And then next turn, we'll only have to deal with those two. Though, so this is turn four. Okay, so we might actually finish this. This In this turn, we should finish this battle. We're going to send one of those Zakus that's in the center to go attack one of our white bases. Probably the Psycho Mew one, with Cusco Eye in it. Oh no, it's just a Zaku. Oh, a Black Tristar Zaku. Who would have guessed? Um, Ortega. I'm saying Ortega. Ah. Oh wait, that is Ortega, isn't it? I was about to say that's, uh... What's his name? Gaia. But no, Gaia's the other one. And this has Lala in it. I didn't know they had Lala yet. Well then. Can they? They cannot. They'll just capture this base here. Can they not capture bases? That's odd. I, I didn't know that. 
Yeah, let's fire on Lala anyway. This will not do us any good. And watch, since I said that, watch this destroy Lala. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it would do anything. Damn it. Of course they wouldn't be able to take out one Zaku. I'm kind of surprised they don't have the Black Tri-Stars and Doms, because... They do have their own custom Rick Dom. Okay. Alright, so no events happened. But, folks, let me finish doing this, and then that'll be the end of this episode. So, folks, that'll be the end of this episode. If you liked it, you should like it. More will be following in a few minutes. Goodbye.